أود أن أصل إلى الوعي 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 Welcome to the world of consciousness. You had practiced a really deep meditation which has taken you beyond your mind and beyond the physical world. But that doesn't mean your mind is not working or functioning. Actually, your mind is creating everything you see right now. My dear, look at everything around us right now. The sofa, my chair, even me sitting here. Is all created in your mind. You think now you are seeing the reality, but you forgot that you were meditating and now you went out of the physical world. You see things and you think it's real, the same thing you see life. You think that when you finish communicating with me and you wake up, you think that you're gonna see the reality, but it's not. Life is the second dimension of dream. When you sleep, it's the ultimate dream. When you wake up from sleeping, you're gonna enjoy another dream. Looks so real for you, but it's still a dream. Everything happens in the physical world. Always manifests itself first in the spiritual world. The physical world is nothing but the manifestation of the spiritual world. You can see how your life looks like. May you can see think in front of you, and you say, "Ha, ah, déjà vu." It's not a déjà vu as it's been explained. Déjà vu is something happened in the spiritual world and manifested itself in the real world. Imagination, visualization, are the keys to access consciousness. And the present moment is the first key before visualization and imagination. What is what is consciousness? Consciousness, consciousness is something you cannot touch or feel by your five senses. Consciousness is conscious of your perception, your mind, your body. And your physical world is beyond everything you have already known, and now you have access to consciousness. So there is no hallucination in your mind that can imagine how consciousness looks like. Consciousness is an absolute present, being a present, and the present moment. That's the first key of consciousness. Go everywhere you want in the world. I look at how people behave in the street, home, or even in relationship. They are behaving unconsciously. They are spending 90% of their life thinking and thinking without being conscious at all, even in their action and decisions. How can I get rid of my mind? You cannot get rid of your mind. Your mind now is making a picture. For the dream that you are in already, you forgot that you were meditating, and you got into a deep sleep, and now you want to get rid of the mind, so can stop everything around you. You need to be conscious of your mind. You need to be conscious of your thoughts. You need to be conscious of your emotions and behaviors. When you become conscious of all of these kind of things. There is only one thing left, 
which is breathing. When you focus on your breathing, we can be conscious in the first present moment. These are the keys that cannot be shared easily. These are the keys which can let you access to me as you did right now in that moment. Now you think I'm looking at you, but I'm not. I'm looking at your emotions, your mind, your body. I can see how you are hesitating right now and you are fearful. Fearful of the experience. Consciousness is a very weird experience. And when you experience consciousness, you can see that the world is nothing but the manifestation of the spiritual world. The moment you understand these points, you can step to the ultimate, ultimate consciousness as you did right now. Life is a dream. Life is nothing but the manifestation of who you are from inside, even if you cannot see that. People are stuck in their logic and their systematic behaviors that they do every single day. Life is just a dream, it's not reality. You are spending life in thinking, 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 and thinking. You never lived life. Even your breathing, you're not aware of. If I stopped your breathing for only one second, you will be absolutely conscious. Because I have stopped something very important for you. You have the opportunity right now to be conscious of your breathing. It's the source of your living. The mind is always fearful. The mind will always try to take you from reality. The mind is always not truth. The mind is always trying to take you from reality. The mind is always trying to make you stuck in your logic. The mind is preventing you from going to consciousness. The mind is making hallucination to you till you can believe hallucination is true. The mind makes you see reality based on your own perspective. The mind can make you disorder. When the mind gets disordered, you will become disordered as well. This is how the mind works. So your consciousness is so low and you cannot see it. And you think that you are the mind. This is why people right now, they are saying the mind is everything. We are so lucky because we have the mind. This is why they are thinking 23 hours a day, only one hour. They become conscious. And when I say hour, I don't mean one hour. I mean minutes spread it in the day, which can become an hour. People cannot be conscious in their life. This is why they are afraid from any step they want to take. The hardest thing in consciousness is decision. Are you going to take with me right now that step which we're gonna jump into the unknown? The unknown is consciousness. You had no experience before about what consciousness is. Any picture in your head is just an imagination and information that you have gathered and keeps repeating itself within you. Not even a reality. People are stuck in their logic and their own perspective. And they think it's a reality. That's why they think every single day. Now you have your own decision. As I told you, Decision is the hardest thing, even in the consciousness world. Are you going to jump with me into the unknown and explore things that you never ever seen? It's not gonna be déjà vu. It's gonna be something stronger than that.
and I will teach you the secrets of how you can access consciousness. Are you going to take these steps with me? You have failed again. Decision must be taken consciously and in the present moment without any thinking. Now you are trying to think and you talk your decision so late which doesn't work anymore. You lost the chance of accessing the ultimate consciousness. Why am I gonna wake up? I'm still conscious with you right now. Because you're gonna wake up and you lost the opportunity which can take you there. Decision can become your hell or your heaven. Wake up.